Jimmy, can you hear me on this one? Everybody for good. Okay. All right. Good. I think we're good. Well, good evening. Uh, we have a special meeting tonight uh, with the county commissioners. Uh, we'd like to uh, I'd like to call this meeting to order uh, with the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Miss Wilson, roll call, please. Here. Mr. Shaw. Here. And Commissioner Kirshner is on. Yes, I am here. Okay, this is a, a special meeting. We're going to discuss the One Ohio Foundation. And as a, uh, this is a backdrop before I introduce uh, Mirsha to speak. Um, the there is an opioid uh, settlement that has been negotiated in the state of Ohio very similar to the tobacco settlement. Um, uh, Ohio uh, formed, part of that is that uh, a foundation was formed. We are part of region 17. Region 17 is made up of eight individual counties. Um, each county within region 17, really across the state, but in our region, needs to hold a meeting um, and invite uh, all entities of the county, the villages, the townships, the cities, and uh, county commissioners to a meeting. Uh, the goal is to uh, establish a, an organization ongoing, Mirsha will discuss that, uh, and also to appoint a person. Each county will appoint one person to, to represent that county, uh, in our case, Region 17, and out of the eight counties in Region 17, they will elect one of the eight to represent us in Columbus. Um, so this is being done all over uh, the state of Ohio, I believe, uh, as of right now, uh, Wyandotte County, uh, Ottawa and Sebesky have already had their meetings. Yes. Uh, and, and we're conducting ours tonight. So uh, thank you with that, I'll turn it over to our, uh, our guest, uh, Mirsha Hindu. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Commissioner Paradiso. As, as he mentioned, uh, we are here for the One Ohio uh, Settlement. Uh, just to give you a little background, so as you guys know, the last few years, a lot of counties joined to file lawsuits against the pharmaceutical companies due to the opioid epidemic. Um, actually, the Ohio Attorney General Office tried to bring all the counties together to really have one large uh, settlement uh, instead of each county kind of will try to do this on their own. Uh, as, far as, as far as we know so far, uh, all the counties in Ohio agreed to kind of be in one big settlement, except Cuyahoga and Summit. My understanding, they haven't yet made that final decision. And, and this is what we came to one Ohio foundation. So really what's happening with the settlement is 50% of all the settlement funds stays with the state of Ohio. 30% of the settlement, settlement funds are going to go as direct application to the local municipalities. So if you are a village, a township, a city or a county, you're going to see that as direct, direct allocation to you, 30%. And the remaining 55% is this one Ohio foundation pool that they are creating at a state level. And as Commissioner Paradiso said, I'm going to go from top down if you open your folder actually, you want to go up, let's start, let's start at the, the top. There's a foundation, they already established a MOU. We have 29 members. Uh, six appointed by the state, four to the legislators, and 19 representing the 19 regions, one per region. No, no, all the way to the top box. I'm at the top 29 members on the one of our foundation for it. We as Seneca County, we are on region 17, as Commissioner Paradiso stated, in one of your, in one of your, um, you also have a PowerPoint in here, one of the slides you are able to see, I believe is page nine. I know it's kind of small thing, but you are able to see the regions. Page six region. is also a little better. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes, there you go, page six. We are in region 17. Thanks. One person per region will be appointed to the statewide foundation board. 
So now we are working is like, okay, how do we develop our region? So really, the training that we receive in each county should have an in county stakeholder meeting, is what we are doing here today, and try to identify one individual to sit on the regional board and a local group or hub to be the ongoing group that will receive updates about this project. Uh, and we'll have some recommendations, I believe, for you about that. Uh, once each county, as Commissioner Paradiso stated, Sendaski Arwa, Arwa, Sendaski Arwa wine that already met. I thought we had the county the meeting here in the next 10 days. Crawford County already met as well. So we have most of our counties in the region, they already identified an, an individual to represent uh, the county on Region 17. Once the Region 17 meets, really the first thing we have to do, and the most important thing, is we have to develop our government structure. So we have to really implement violence. Uh, member terms, uh, things about conflict of interest, voting, how we're going to review projects, and so on. And, and the second thing is, as the Region 17, we have to appoint one out of those eight to represent the region at the state level. Any projects from the local community, if you want it to be funded, has to be taken to the region by your representative. The region vets your project. If they consider it that it's good enough, then the region has to give it to the one person to take it from the region to the state level. Then the state also, also vets it, and then funding comes down straight to whatever program might be funded. Okay? So it's uh, you got to go a few steps before the funds going to flow, flow back down to the local community. What they have obviously told us in the in the trainings is they are looking at, at regional projects, not necessarily county projects, but regional projects, which that tells me they want to see kind of collaboration. So one example that I gave in some of the other meetings I was part of, let's say we are looking at with an inpatient treatment facility. I'm just giving an example. Well, I don't think we can send eight different projects, each county one their own. They want, I want to say, two or four counties going together and say, hey, this is our project. This is how we're going to refer clients. This is how we're going to transfer clients. This is how we're going to fund the projects or whatever. This is the sustainability plan. And then maybe submit that as a project. Then maybe it's a two or three or four county projects. Uh, we have done this as a board in the past with, with many projects we are working on. I'm not saying the single county minor work, but you know, if they get what I commonly see is we have many counties or, or or areas or agencies. So uh, that's another thing. It could be their children's services in Seneca County. They might want to partner with Seneca, with Sandusky County and our county and set the project together and, and partner with that. So uh, when it comes to the local group, uh, obviously my recommendation will be the Seneca County OPS Task Force. Many of you guys here are maybe very familiar with, with that organization. It was created in 2017, actually led by Commissioner, uh, by uh, Justice Sharp, actually. Uh, we went to the Ohio Opiate Conference. We came back and said, hey, we have to do something in Seneca County. So we established this group. It's actually meeting monthly and has been meeting monthly since 2015. Uh, in my opinion, we have all the key players there. You have, you have judges there that attend those meetings. You have law enforcement that attends the meetings. You have probation officers, you have premium agencies, health department, DJFS, Mental health and recovery service board. I mean, you really faith based community. Uh, you, you really have what I consider the, the key players in the community when it comes to uh, looking at, at the drug epidemic or the opioid epidemic. Um, I want to make sure I'm not missing a few things. So give me a second to look through my notes. This is another important thing to know. This is their projecting this to be an 18 to 20 year project. So the funds from the settlement will be received through the next 18 year period. The state foundation board, uh, they actually passed a large MOU, they were signed with the uh, Ohio Attorney General's office, where actually the foundation board got a look at ways maybe also invest in some of those funds. They will not push all those funding funds down to the region. You know, in the first year would be a, a while. Another thing when it comes to, you know, people ask, well, what is the dollar amount we're looking at? To be honest, we don't have that clear information yet. I know that the governor has to appoint one executive director for the statewide board. That person is my understanding was not yet selected, but the salary for that person will come straight from 
all of us from the regions. Uh, another thing is, is my understanding, all the turkey keys has not been yet settled. So that could also obviously take some money out of what's there. Uh, obviously, it's my understanding, everybody's serving on the region board or being a county representative is just what we do in kind. Nobody's getting paid. Really, the only person that's getting paid is the, the top person of the state line. Everybody else is just taking this as either part of their job or just as a volunteer basis. So I wanted to make sure I, I mentioned that as well. Uh, really, the, the goal of this meeting is can we want to identify that individual and to identify the local group that will continue to seek updates regarding this one Ohio project. Uh, once the region, as I said, is established and they pass their bylaws, that county representative will have to come back to Seneca County and ask municipalities, the, the townships, the villages, the cities, and the commissioners to actually adopt the resolution regarding the participation in this project. In the resolution, you're gonna have the name of the individual representing Seneca County. You're gonna have the name of the group uh, that will be the county hub. And then you're also gonna have as attachment, the bylaws of region 17 for the government structure. So uh, I know I talked with the city of Tiffin, I believe maybe 10 days ago about this, I gave a little update to the council. So yes, we'll, we'll come back to the municipalities and say, hey, here is the draft resolution that we will propose. Uh, obviously they might wanna run into their law director or, I'm sure, or very down, but uh, we'll, we'll assist with that um, as, as we go forward. So, um, four counties met, will be the fifth county to meet in the region. So we'll really at the end of this, we will have the majority. I will be ready, ready to schedule our regional meeting. We are projecting to maybe uh, call uh, the other counties and try to find a date maybe for the middle of March. Uh, really, the state wanted the regions to be established by the end of this month, which is really not going to happen. Uh, I talked to them a few times this week. We are actually much ahead compared to the other regions. There are some regions in Ohio that none of the counties have their meetings yet. So we are ahead when it comes to that. Uh, it is important to know, as I said, the state foundation has 29 board members. If they have 18, they have a board. So that means they can start meeting and some regions might not be at the table. So we don't want to miss that opportunity. Uh, I'll make sure you guys don't feel like this is rushed or pushed, but we want to be at the table when when we get the green light. So uh, any questions? Here's your that resolution that you need. What, what time frame are you looking at? Did I, did I miss that? Do you have any idea when you would need us to, to be making that resolution? I think in the next 30 days, I will be able to give you guys a draft. Okay. Uh, and I talked, for example, today with the city of Upper Sandusky, and they told me, hey, you know, we might have to do a 3D, 3D rule. They might take six weeks or whatever. I think that's fine. As long as we show progress with the municipalities, that, that's fine. Uh, so probably in the next 30 days, I will give you guys a draft. Uh, you know, another question I had today, one of the other counties is, well, what if a township or a village, they don't want to pass the resolution? What happens? It's my understanding they will not slow down Seneca County. It just might mean that that township or village or city does want to be, be part of this project. Uh, also, uh, and, and we'll send minutes out and try to do more outreach. If any of the municipalities will want to have a representative onto the Seneca County Copia Task Force, I am pretty sure the, the, the task force will approve and I will take a motion for their next meeting. So you will be more than welcome to send a representative to hear what's going on in Seneca County when it comes to the, the opioid epidemic. You explained the 30% uh, the 55% funding. Yes. How, so, how that's going to get distributed out. Correct. So the 30%, as I say, should come from the state straight to the local municipalities. And I believe local municipalities already received information how much you are planning to receive. At least I told some municipalities and they told me, hey, I already have that. So that's direct allocation, the 30 percent. The 15 percent, I'm not sure how the state is going to use it. That's their probably admin cost, right, from the top. Uh, the rest is the 55 percent, the one of our foundation. Which are the projects. Correct. So they are, for the 55 percent, there are specific projects that qualify. And I can summarize them for you. So what they are recommending, obviously one is treatment services, early intervention in crisis support to adapt, to address the needs of criminal justice involved individuals, mother-centered treatment and support, 
recovery support services, prevention and education services to prevent over prescribing of opioids and other drugs of potential misuse, prevent overdose deaths or other harms such as harm reduction programs, services for children. So I'm thinking about maybe something with children services, first responders, EMS, firefighters, law enforcement, and other criminal justice professionals, and workforce development. As you guys know, it's a we have a significant workforce when it comes to the behavioral health. So these are kind of the top things that they are recommending. So obviously, if you want to submit something for a bridge or a road, probably not going to make it up, right? So uh, now they are also, they have a kind of a tier two recommendation and it's like stigma induction education or education for professionals in the community. And the last thing is research. If you have some sort of innovative research project that you want to do and, and you think that this could be funded, you can submit a research project as well. So on the 30%, for example, city of Tiffin would get X amount of money. Uh, are they free to do what they want with that money? Or does that have to come back to the to be honest, I don't know. That part I guess we don't know. I, I don't I don't know if the state allocation coming to let's say city of Tiffin, I don't know if they have to. I'm assuming not, because that's why you found this one you, you create this one of our foundation. Okay. That also has an expert panel at the state level, and also individuals appointed by the government. So I, I would anticipate locally, each county, each city has their own personnel and needs. So will be dollars allocated specifically there, and then more on the regional level, i.e., several counties. But you know, it's probably probably fifty-five percent. That's correct. But you don't know what the total pot is. Well, I do. In, in, let me see if it's in your attachment. I do have some information uh, what the total pot is. And uh, give me one second. Number. Yes, you have your idea. Uh, sure. I don't know if this is. Uh... Is my is also my understanding is some of the lawsuits has not been settled yet. So the path should grow. You, you don't have it in front of you. Uh, but you know what? Stage. When, when we when we send minutes, because we'll send minutes after today's meeting, we'll include this attachment. Uh, but if for each statement, if for example, uh this element is what they call it three pharmaceutical companies at a hundred percent estimation allocation of 12 million dollars for the eight counties, J and J settlement. That's that's another settlement. They are looking at 2.8 million and 100 percent for uh, region 17. So 2.8 plus 12, so almost 50 million dollars. But keep in mind, if this is over an 18 million, 18 years period, talk about 750,000 a year, let's say, for eight counties. Significant amount, but it's not. I, some number depends on that exactly. Let's put 400,000 range, 450 over a period of time will come back to say. So it's, you know, it's not in the billions or millions, but it's a significant amount. How, how much? Like 450,000 PR share over that period of time. So far. That's pretty good guess. Yeah. The change, the numbers change a little bit, but that's the number of the CCA only in I think December. That I is that for the commission? Is that for the 30% allocation? I don't, that, I don't know. I thought it was got it. Uh, but you can do the math, but see, that's the other thing we don't really know. Um, on the 55 percent, is that going to be divided up equally among eight counties? Is it going to be by population? Is it going to be you know, how, do, how do you divide that? The 30 percent spoken for, right? That'll go. Back to everyone, all the individual entities, right? Equally, not equally the amount, but equally the population. So if it's 55, we're not sure how that's going to be divided. Yeah. So there's still some, it's, it's a work in progress. I think for the township, I don't expect your 30 percent to be very high. Uh, I, I know uh, Mayor Greenslade is, is on Zoom. I talked to him earlier and he told me for Green Springs, the amount was. A, Again, it's probably based on population, so it's not 
just to give us a feel. Now, Commissioner Kirshner, would you like to make any comment? Oh, uh, uh, I don't think. Hold on for a second here. Okay, uh, Commissioner Shaw. Uh, we might have to turn the volume up over here. Okay, this time, just I'm looking forward to getting the minutes that way. We can see what all it applies to, and then just the numbers of right now. Those, but no questions this time. Okay. So, Commissioner Kirshner, I do have another question. Here, Chair, are you seeing our so looking at this, if I'm looking at 450 over 18 years, give or take, is a recommendation that our local board come up with a project that we do with these funds? Is that, or am I, am I incorrect and that's the best way to use this money? I think uh, the, the Senate County will be a task force uh, with proposed projects. Or if, or if an entity that maybe is not part of that, you want to propose the project, that project should should be brought to the Seneca County of the task force, discussed, and then the task force will, will propose it up through Seneca County. And that, that makes sense to me. I'm, I'm speaking as, as a member of the city administration, not as the city administration, so I can't mm -hmm. say for sure. But to me, that, that seems like the, the best use is, is running through that board um, and figure out how to best use this. I mean, considering this amount um, for that period of time. Mike. We, are, we are as fortunate that Mirsha represents four counties with the mental health history and four of the eight counties that are the least seven to number one. Uh, and number two, we're very blessed to send the kind of head over the task force, which is a mission and has a function that you guys there from the beginning. Uh, no, and uh, we've grown to appreciate it. So we think that this is a, a perfect fit. And I do have a motion. I have two motions I'd like to present once I get Commissioner Kirshner. I think Mike can probably talk about it. Commissioner Kirshner, uh, do you have any comments? I, 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 are you able to hear me? Good evening. Did you hear us okay? I can hear you just fine. I don't know if you hear me. Um, if you have comments, please go ahead. If you don't, I'd like to. Uh, we have a couple motions we'd like to bring before the three commissioners. Okay, I'm not able to, I'm not, you can't hear me, so. It's yeah. actually very, very clear. Oh, we, can. we can hear you. We can hear you oh, you can? Okay, yeah. well, I, I, I was assuming you can. Oh, and you can officially vote because we, we can do that now, right? Great. Exactly, yeah. I'm just very pleased that, I'm very pleased that we have Mercia representing us. For uh, our portion of this settlement, and, uh, I would see you know, I'd be the one that probably represents the uh, a total of eight counties. Okay, so we have two. We're going to have two motions. Commissioner Kirshner made the first motion to appoint uh, Mirsha as the representative of Seneca County to the One Ohio Region 17 Board. Do we have a second? I'll second Commissioner Kirshner's motion. Okay, Stacy, we okay? Uh, roll call. Commissioner Kirshner. Yes. Commissioner Shaw? Yes. Commissioner Fredrickson? Yes. Yeah. I'd like to introduce a second motion. Um, I'd like to move that we designate the Seneca County Opioid Task Force as the Seneca County Hub Group for the Ohio, uh, One Ohio Project uh, for the purpose of providing feedback and proposing projects to the One Ohio Region 17 Board. So moved. Do we have a second? Yes, you do. Okay, so we have a second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Kirshner? Yes. Yes. Commissioner Fredrickson? Yes. So thank you. So uh, we have appointed you as our representative from Seneca County, and I, I feel that the public endorses that. And we've also designated the Senate County Opioid Task Force as our county hub. And so for the benefit of the local municipalities that are not members of that, you will continue to- I'll continue, I'll continue to outreach to, to, to them. outreach and bring, I'll yield back to you. Okay. Yes, I will outreach to them. I will actually try to figure out what the next township 
association meaning is a little bit disorderly. So maybe I have five or seven. Or seven there you go. I'm already down. Uh, <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so uh, so I maybe give them an update. Uh, that I just want to make one more comment to to Nick's question. Then really our goal as an organization is to go and represent. We are not looking any funds to come to the local mental health board. We actually are hoping the projects to be funded directly. So uh, I want you guys to know me representing there is no, we're not going to take any admin cost from anything that's supposed to come to Seneca County. And I think that's important you mentioned. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, the way this is set up, the reason there's an Ohio Foundation is, is the local governments were very, very skeptical of the money going to the state of Ohio. And we all know what could happen there. So, uh, as part of the settlement, a separate foundation is set up, so the money actually goes to the foundation. The cities, the villages, the townships, the county, the mental health district will never receive any direct money. The, the projects are presented once approved. The Ohio Foundation cuts the checks and they will cut all the checks to the, let's call it the projects, that fair statement, that, that have been approved. So we're, there's no middle person in there. You're talking about the 55 uh, We're talking for sure the 55 and we're not sure about the 30. Sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, but I, I tend to, we'll let him update, but I tend to agree that I think it works that way. But more to come. Okay, we don't we don't want. So, um, and then, uh, good job for you. Uh, it's more work for you, but it's, Hopefully, we can leverage this money that we use. I believe that's all the business we have. Commissioner Kirshner, any comment before we adjourn? Nice to see such a nice crowd there, and uh, it's especially nice to see Judge Sharp smiling. Uh, it's sleeting and freezing outside, so it's nice you can join us by Zoom. <laughs> uh, anything else from you? Okay, uh, with that, our meeting's adjourned. Yeah. Thank you.